topic our group has chosen is mobile internet. We have defined it in a very specific way. Basically, mobile internet is wireless internet whenever a landline is not accessible. For example, Wi-Fi, which we can use on laptops, Blackberries, and iPhones. It's the internet that can be found in cafes, on the go, and even at Safeway. The reason why we're conducting this interview is to learn about the possible lifestyle changes, behavior changes, and patterns in our everyday lives when we're comparing before and after we have mobile internet. We are going to use Marshall McLuhan's Tetra Theory and general questions to conduct our interview. Now let's go into further detail of four parts of Tetra. Around five, five hours. Three to four hours. I use it um, at home on my desktop. Uh, at home. Actually, mainly at home, but sometimes at school. Um, at home. Leisure, school, research. Just for leisure, MSN, ICQ, web surfing. Well, surfing in the internet. More than 35. Six to seven, six to seven hours. About the same. Okay. Library, um, you know, Starbucks, school. School. But with my, I have a laptop, so mm -hmm. then now I can use it in you know, Starbucks, places where there's wireless internet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the airport. Random information I need, like maybe movie times. Um, still the same, same things. <laughs> yeah, blogging. Um, it offers lots of convenience. Um, for like I said, information I need just makes my life so much easier. You can use it basically wherever there is wireless internet. Where is more convenient? Um, being able to communicate so much easier. I know there's a cell phone and telephone, but um, with the internet, you can send out like mass emails to like a bunch of people for group events and things like that. And there's also um, communicating with other people in a more like in lots of different methods, not just internet. Like I said, more accessible. For example, like family, uh, everybody can bring their laptop and uh, at the same table, and you know. To, uh, checking their own email and then uh, sharing the time together. So, and now I don't even write letters anymore. Having the face-to-face -face interaction with people. Less time to socialize in person. People don't write anymore. I think mobile internet is kind of ironic in the sense that uh, the, inch, the cell phone is supposed to bring people together. But what the mobile internet does is it serves as a distraction for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I could be talking to you at the same time, but, you know, surfing through the web. People become more depend, you know, they depend more on the internet because they have more access to it. So in conclusion, we found that mobile internet enhances on convenience and makes communication easier and more efficient. We found that it retrieves on social networking and a sense of community and community interaction. We found that mobile internet obsolesces on face-to-face -face interaction and on verbal and written communication. We found that people today are doing too much at the same time. And finally, we found that mobile internet reverses upon dependency. Once we become too dependent on the internet, we won't know what to do when we're without it for even just a few minutes.